Uh, obviously, I know quite a bit about you, but I'd love mm. you, for you to share your story with everyone. I think it's really interesting how you found your niche. And I think the work that you're doing is really interesting, really relevant and much needed. So just love to hear a bit about why you decided to go into the work that you're doing, how you got into it. Mm. So, um, yeah, my background is um, fashion design. Um, I was in I was a fashion designer for 26 years. And three years ago, I call it fell off the perch, I burnt out. Um, and I decided that I needed to go and research why I had burnt out and what I needed to do personally for myself to get through the burnout. Um, so I suffered for 26 years of imposter syndrome. And um, imposter syndrome, if people need to know a little bit more about it is that you truly believe you are not good enough for the job that mm -hmm. you have got um uh the more higher up the ladder you go the more people get it seven out of ten professionals suffer with it at some point in their career but often in silence and mine was very much in silence and uh, it crippled me in that every day I went to work feeling sick every day I got on that train and I just thought, when are they going to find out I'm not good enough? When are they? This is just a fluke. When are they going to find out? And um, it just made it just made my life and my career. I, I just I could have done so many things more now looking back if mm -hmm. I'd sorted out my imposter syndrome. And I think when the creative industry, it's kind of rife because there is no right or wrong so uh, we're all very precious, the creative people, and our mind works in different ways. And it's just full of abusive, negative self-talk. Um, so when I burnt out, um, I took a year um, to work on myself and um, I went to therapy, which was amazing. And I decided that I needed to go back into the industry and help all those other people that are suffering in silence. So I then went and took, um, restudied and um, became a certified life coach. Um, so now my big mission is to get out in that industry and help as many people as I can. I want to get it out the closet. I want people to start talking about it. And I want people to know that there is actually help out there. Imposter syndrome um, and negative self-talk and burnout, they're things that you truly can work on. Mm. And knowing that you can go and see someone about it and that you're not on your own. Um, and then the more people that talk about it, the better. Trying to get retailers within the workplace to understand it um, and how they can help their uh, teams um, through it. And it, it, it's not, it's, you shouldn't feel shameful that you have it because the higher up the ladder you are, you, you do get it. And it's all about identifying when it's there, what's real. Is it a negative chatter that you have this thing just sitting on the, all the time? Is it real? Where does it come from? What do I need to do about it? I need to tone it down. And I now at a stage with mine that I totally know where it's coming from and I know how to tone it down and I talk to it and that's that's how you do you you treat it like it's literally a sit and then you talk to it and you discuss it and, you, and it becomes your friend so there's a toolkit that that I can go through with clients and that's what I do as as a life coach and each person has an individual toolkit on how they can cope with that and then as with burnout it's being you know what can you do once you've got burnout had it how can you improve your life to make sure it doesn't happen again? Or if you're going through it, what do you need to do? Do you need to fully stop? What, and that's what we do as a life coach. We're, we're forward thinking. Well, I'm here now, but I want to be over there. And I don't know how to get there. And that's my job is to help people, those tiny, tiny little steps 
and I'm just holding their hand along the way. I'm just there with them, but they're the ones that have all the answers. It's their journey. And um, yeah, so that that's what I do. And it's incredibly rewarding to know that I can help these people. I knew that their, what had happened to me um, and I got through it, I got help and I could speak to someone about it because I went to see a life coach um, as well as a therapist. And it was like a massive relief. It was literally this thing had been sitting, sitting on my shoulders for 26 years. And I honestly thought, well, that's life. That's you've got to live with it. That's who you are. Mm -hmm. And it's not. You, it doesn't have to sit there for, for so long. And that massive relief has changed my life. I mean, I get goosebumps when I think about how it's changed my life not only my career everything that I do in my life has changed because I've sought I've, I've kind of faced it head on and I just want to give that opportunity to all those other people that feel the same that it, it doesn't have to be like that honestly mm -hmm. the, the clients that I have I have I have I had one lady who honestly thought that she was going to have to give up her job because she was so had it so bad and after my um 18 week program she was on she absolutely loves the job and she's realized it was actually just her negative self-talk that was stopping her from understanding and now she's absolutely thriving she's got a promotion and she's aware she's aware when it comes and she knows what's to do with it so it's just incredible when you know that you can actually deal with it it's completely honest I mean I fell off the perch mm. I burnt out I had imposter syndrome I didn't believe I was good enough uh, you've just got it comes from such an honest background and I think that's what people like about me it resonates so they know they can come to me no I haven't just read it from a textbook yes I went and studied it and I got an amazing distinction but I went through it. So weirdly, I do not have imposter syndrome about this job because <laughs> you're in your yeah. space. You found yeah. the place, haven't you? On the you walking, talking, yeah. this, this is working because I'm talking to you guys. I talk to directors of mm -hmm. companies and they're my clients. I wouldn't have been able to have done that five years ago. So I've got mine under control. I done like three sessions for free with these directors. And then they decide then, oh, okay, I've got, I know what she's about. I mean, you have to do that when you start. Mm -hmm. And then, and then it's just word of mouth now. And, and I do now have 500 more so connections of directors and designers in Milan. I have a client who is um in Milan and then that opens up to now I can go into Europe and amazing it's just opened up opened up opened up so at the minute I'm I'm on this kind of networking opening up um it, it yeah that's how I've done it and it and it just will snowball but my absolute mission is to get and I'm in talks with the big retailers and brands on actually coming in and getting it right in the root cause within the industry. That's my, as well as my one-to-one -one clients. That's, that's what I'm, that's my passion. I want to be like the person in the industry to change, to make the change. You're gonna, um, you are, you're, do, you're already I'm doing, gonna it, do it. It. I'm doing it. You're going to do it. I'm doing it. 